Hey guys, Steph here. Let's talk about going pure cloud. So what am I talking about when I'm talking about pure cloud? I'm talking about using cloud storage, like, uh, I got my notes again, like Google Drive, Dropbox, iCloud, and there are several others. In case you don't know, you might not know, cloud storage is basically storing your files on some remote server hosted by Google, hosted by Apple, hosted by Dropbox, hosted by Microsoft, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And usually they'll give away like a gig of space for free. And then you might have to spend like two bucks a month to get like 60 or 100 gigs or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, so at first I was uncomfortable with this, having my files on, on their systems, on their servers. I was uncomfortable about this because I'm kind of a, an old school computer guy. But if you think about it, having your stuff on the cloud is actually safer than having them on your own hard disk. Why? Because the chances of Google's cloud going down and them losing your data or Microsoft or Apple or Dropbox, the chance of any of these companies losing your data is like one bazillion trillion to one versus you having your hard drive fail or you having you losing your your backup drive or your computer crashing it's like psh, so much safer on the cloud so much safer on the cloud and all these cloud guys or everything's encrypted and stuff and if you're uploading like personal stuff that you don't want necessarily the public to see you can encrypt it of course yourself password protect your pds whatever anyway point is cloud computing i think is uh becoming more and more prevalent we have been on uh in terms of our websites and our apps, we've been moving off of dedicated servers, migrating into the cloud. We're almost all the way there. We're like three quarters of the way there. Uh, by uh, spring 2017, we should be pure cloud, no more physical servers, because when you have a physical server, you have a single point of failure. If that CPU burns, if that hard disk fails, if that power supply fails, that box is down, it's offline. But if you use cloud-based serving, then you're in this virtualized environment, so you don't have to worry about that. No single point of failure. Again, the chances of a um, cloud hosting service, their network going down are far, far less than, their whole network going down rather, is far, far less than your dedicated box going down, your dedicated machine going down. But anyway, off on a tangent, let's go back to cloud, um, going pure cloud in terms of your own computing, your own computers. So let's look at a few things. We're going to look at the pros and the cons. So we, the cons, I think, is that you need big bandwidth with your internet connection, depending on the file size. So if you're just moving text files, doing coding and so forth, then there's, you know, if you have just a normal high-speed internet connection, then you're fine. You know, it's like text files are so small and you'll be able to store tons of information on a gig for free on Google or Dropbox or uh, iCloud, etc. And the amount of bandwidth it takes to move text files over the web is nothing, it's nothing. Now, if you're like me and you do a lot of video work where you have big files, then you're gonna need some more uh, bandwidth. But again, up here in Canada, we don't necessarily have the best internet, although it's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to get, for an extra five bucks a month, I'm going to get ultra, super fast, high speed, mega internet with unlimited uploads and downloads. So that solves my problems, even when I'm doing video. The great thing about being on the cloud, well, what was, I'm going to follow my list. I don't want to go off on a tangent here. So, um, so with cloud computing, you don't have to worry about backups, right? Because there's the chance of Google going down or like, you know, zero. Uh, you don't have to about losing your computer. Imagine if you had all your important files on your laptop and one day you lose it or one day your cat spills uh, your, a wine on your laptop. That happened to me once. Uh, spilt wine on my laptop. Destroyed my laptop. Everything was fried. If you had data on there, you hadn't backed up because you forgot to back it up that day, which you always do, then you lose your data and that's, that's terrible. But if you have it always on the cloud, you never lose your data. What happens when you have your stuff on the cloud you, your computer, you become computer neutral. I call it, you become computer neutral, meaning I have multiple computers. Right now I have three computers, three laptops, and one, well, two laptops and one hybrid. And uh, I don't have to worry about whatever laptop I'm on. I can go to use a friend's laptop. I just gotta log into my cloud account and I get access to my files there, right? 
no big deal. So when your stuff is on the cloud, you're not bound to a particular machine, which is fantastic, right? Selling machines, losing machines, trashing machines, getting new machines, machines being computers, is so much easier, right? Because you don't have to transfer all these local files. Amazing. That's it. So the options are again, there's many options, the three big ones that I know of, Google Drive, from Google Dropbox, from Dropbox iCloud, which you get with Apple, and there are others out there. Microsoft has their own, uh, was it OneCloud or something like that? No. Microsoft is uh, OneDrive, I'm just looking up here. Same type of deal, it's all pretty much the same. So you might actually have uh, cloud storage on each of them, right? You can, one gig here, two gigs here, one gig here, and you could probably set it up to do some automated backups between them. I haven't looked into that, but it's a possibility there. So there you go. There's a big, for me anyway, this mental change, this idea of always working with the cloud drives as your primary drives rather than your local computers and doing local backups. So I highly recommend that you look into that, especially if you have good high-speed internet and you don't have bandwidth consideration issues for the reasons I just discussed because it's gonna give you a huge amount of freedom. It's the future of computing, it's great. All right, I hope you found this video useful. Ciao, ciao.